So, this is my machine. It's a BioTouch brand made in USA. You can order this machine through online. So, here it is. Before we start the process of my programming, I will show you all the materials I am using. So, this is an iolite. It's a cream numb. It's also made in USA. And of course, this is my BioTouch machine. So, all my materials is made by BioTouch made in the USA here is the charger and here is a single nano needle that which is we can use for both microblading to make a hair stroke and uh, and ombre we can use also this one for ombre brows and uh, this is a cap needle it's a needle cap so here we go to those who want to learn microbrading, you can just message me. And here's my pigment. It's also from BioTouch, made in the USA. Here it is. You can open. So I'll show you. So these pigments is you can use to both ombre and of course to hair stroke. No, for making a hair stroke. It's also a biotouch. It's a micro pigment. It's a brownie color. Note, guys, before you starting the process of microblading for your client, of course, you need to check everything like your client's skin tone. Maybe this pigment it will not be perfect to her. So here it is. First, I draw a line of a brow, a shape, I made a shape, and uh, I put a cream numb, and it will be take up to 30 minutes to cream numb. Actually, even you will not use a cream numb, it will be fine as long as uh, the artist is the expert and is uh, microblading. So after 30 minutes here already I already started and this is almost done on the other side Just slowly 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 shading be careful guys and uh, of course always check your pressure Just slowly, 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 slowly shave to brows. Guys, remember you don't need to rush on shading. Always remember that you are in a, uh, in the part of uh, our skin. It's very sensitive, so be careful. You don't need to rush. Relax. I'm making an umber brows for myself so as you see <laughs> it's uh, there's a, a little scratch because my skin is uh, sensitive so it's normal and uh, it's also painless for me because the, I put a cream numb so I will not feel any pain or I do not feel 
hurt if uh, I'm doing the micro ombre. Actually, even you will not use a cream numb, it will be fine because it's not that just it's not that much uh, painful like a tattoo. This is the most funniest I did, guys. <laughs> I am using a piece of paper to measure for my brows. But it's okay because this is myself, no? I'm not doing the client. But guys, no, don't do this, huh? I just did this because I made a micro ombre to myself and not to a client. But never do this to your client. Always measure. And um, of course, you need to be sure that it is the, uh, always the okay. <laughs> I forgot what will I say. <laughs> So as you see, I'm using the a, a piece of paper to make my brows. So I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. That's why. But for me, it's okay. Even I will not use a ruler. I can still manage it. But guys, especially to those beginner, please do not uh, don't do what I did. Especially if you're doing to your client Because of course you're building your brand You're making a name So never do that So as you see I already started the other side my left side So there's a little scratch on my left side because actually I have really a scratch there but later on I can remove it so it looks like uh, it's not uh, the same shape the other side because I have a scratch here so just slowly 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 shade it relax and don't be rush always remember don't be rush on shading just relax your hands and remember to of course check the pressure of your hands in your machine As you see here, I have a little scratch because really my skin is the, a sensitive, a little bit sensitive. And even the other side. But the scratch I have in the other side is I got somewhere. It's not by microblading processed. So it's normal later on you will see the the finished one it's really beautiful I'm making an ombre micro to my own brows guys to those beginner 
Never do this. But if you can, why not? You can do it by yourself also. Right? You can make your own brows, ombre, or micro blading. Micro blading, what I mean is actually it's the uh, same, it's a uh, micro blading, but there is just um, types of micro blading like ombre. So, what I'm doing right now is an ombre browsed. Be, be careful, so just shade, 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 relax your hands, don't be rushed. So that's it. I'm almost done. So now I am doing the final shading, just fixing the tails. And that's it, I'm done. So that's it, I'm done and guys please don't forget to like and share my channel. Actually I have a two channel, I have a Facebook channel and I have also a YouTube channel. So please guys for more videos, if you want to learn more about microblading, don't forget to subscribe and like. So here it is my unhealed ombre brows and of course this is my healed ombre brows it's really beautiful chenin haha <laughs>